The Honorable Charles Max Fernandez on Monday met with Antigua and Barbuda Airport Authority officials and the Acting Chief Immigration Officer Annette Mack. Minister Fernandez says there must be a collective effort to improve the level of customer service in the immigration section, since the officers are the first set of individuals with whom visitors interact. He adds that Antigua and Barbuda now boast one of the most modern facilities in the Western Hemisphere, and therefore, the level of service must also meet first-class expectations. I think that is very important and that is something that has been identified and that is something that we're going to try and see how we can work with to um, ensure that <clears throat> you know, first, when people visit Antigua, the first person invariably they meet would be the immigration officer and we want to see how we can uh, enhance that experience. The immigration minister explains that work is still in progress to reduce the amount of information persons put on the immigration card. He says there have been complaints about the length of the document, which can be frustrating to travelers. We are also looking at the immigration card. Uh, that is something that has been ongoing, not just uh, now, but that's something that has been planned for some time. There is um, uh, some people that are of the opinion the cards are a little bit too long. And uh, maybe we're going to try and see if we can find a way to shorten it, but at the same time capture what is necessary. And uh, that would in turn uh, speed up the process in terms of going through immigration. Fernandez says efforts will continue to further minimize incidents of human trafficking and smuggling in the Twin Island state, referencing the Syrian case. For ABS News, Elisa Graham reporting.